atas nama bangsa Indonesia Soekarno Hatta. Ten parents can dream and one young person can change the world. Give me one thousand parents so they will pull Samara Mountain until the roots. But if you give me ten teenagers, so they will shake the world. If we have a strong desire from the heart, then the whole universe will work together to make it happen. Presidential power has its limits, because the lasting power is just the power of the people, and above all is the power of God. God will never change the fate of nation before the people take their destiny. Great nation is a nation that honors its heroes' services. Whoever wants the pearl so they must brave to jump in the deep ocean. My struggle is easier than you because I repel the invaders while you shit against your own people. If women are good, then the country is the best. But if women are bad, then the country will collapse. Ducks walk flock, but an eagle flies alone. Independence is only acquired and possessed by a nation whose soul is burning with determination, free, free, or dead. Learning without thinking is useless, but thinking without learning is very dangerous. Do good to another man, even when they do not do you good, another will certainly do you good. If there is still shame and fear in one's heart to do good, there will certainly be no progress at all. This country, the Republic of Indonesia, does not belong to any group, nor to any religion, nor to any ethnic group, nor to any group with customs and traditions, but the property of all of us from Sabang to Merauke. Reach your ambition as high as the skies. Dream it as high as the skies. Because if you fall, at least you will fall with stars. A thousand old men can only dream, but a young man is able to change the world. Rose never propagandize its fragrant but its own fragrance spreads through its surrounding. The worst cruelty that can be inflicted on a human being is isolation. I hate imperialism. I detest colonialism. And I fear the consequences of their last bitter struggle for life. We are determined that our nation, and the world as a whole, shall not be the plaything of one small corner of the world. We must all build national unity, build all revolutionary forces, into one powerful wave to sweep away our main enemy, political imperialism and economic imperialism. Never, ever forget history. Let us not be bitter about the past, but let us keep our eyes firmly on the future. We are living in a world of fear. The life of man today is corroded and made bitter by fear. Fear of the future, fear of the hydrogen bomb, fear of ideologies. Perhaps this fear is a greater danger than the danger itself because it is fear which drives men to act thoughtlessly, to act dangerously. 
Am I not peaceful? We want to be free, completely free. Free to be free. We want to be left alone. I was we not on television or Wild West sagas but on stories of nationalism and patriotism. I would sit at my mother's feet by the hour and drink in these exciting tales of the freedom fighters in our family. What America did in Vietnam and the Congo, we feel. And as a result come these demonstrations. I am not defending the act of burning useless books. We deplore it. But we can understand the motives of the students. I love life.